Hello traders, this is Dan. Let's take a look at the markets for March 10, the new trades and a couple of um, things on our watch list item. Spiders here, we had a very bearish gap. Do you remember in last night's video I said we had a day trade bias long if today we traded over yesterday's high and a bearish bias if we traded under the low, you know, possibly with things getting a lot uglier. Well, we had our bearish gap down, a uh, little bounce, new low, higher low, retest, and it closed above the open so we're, we're in a we're in a continued mess right here so i i actually have the same same bias for tomorrow tomorrow over today's high bullish day trade bias under the low bearish day trade bias with uh, we'll see if more pain can come that on a fox news pre-market today there's there was a lot of you know what i call respected intelligent people uh, singing the the um, recession song saying it's just a certainty uh, there was a, a a former fed economist um, you know so on and so forth but we're we're chart readers and that and that's what we do um, diamonds same but it, it's it's a wider wide range bar if this were to be the start of a bottoming process we're gonna need a, a, like another five or ten bars chopping around down here making up a bottom um, but again, if we if we negate, if if we gap under today's low in the diamonds with another shock pattern, then I think with a very high degree of certainty we're going lower. IWM bullish close again. This one's actually been uh, a little bit more bullish than the other, particularly on intraday charts. Q's a big fat neutral. I'm gonna close with a bottoming tail. So we were not active at all today. Um, in the advisory letter, we only gave one trade plug as a as a bullish one two three continuation that was posted yesterday. Nice nice you know new low reversal closing at the high inside bar target the two hundred. It triggered got sloppy but it's fine. There's nothing we can do about it. And then to the close, we gave for the weekly options trader. We only gave two trades and they were in the afternoon session and. And, and you know I love when we we get trades from our subscribers. So um, John, a, a seasoned credit spreader in our green room, came up with both of these for me today after the 2:30 session. He said, "Dan, put spread 365 for tomorrow, right here. Red bar ignored breakout." I said, "Yes, sir." Re sold a put spread on that Airbnb. Kind of the same, it had a bearish gap reversal. Look, bearish gap under all that support, quick retracement into the gap, higher low, sideways, afternoon breakout. Dan was talking, Ken, he even mentioned. So I, I give credit to uh, to both of these, to John in the green room, they're, they're one DTEs, they expire tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is zero DTE, Friday, and I think, um, I think it should be a good zero DT um, trading day um, for tomorrow. Still difficult on swings for the reasons we've been talking about, but that's it. Uh, any questions, as always, email Gregor me, and we'll see you tomorrow, as always, in Telegram. Good trading.